What's it take for a guard to play at the D1 level? Well, I think, obviously, it's always a balance of your skills, your athleticism, your feel and understanding of the game from a guard perspective, you know? Uh, So, and oftentimes, which one comes first? You know, is it the skills? Is it the sense and feel of the game? You know, is it uh, your athletic? It's always a mixture of those three. And ultimately, in the end, we try to develop guard play. You know, can you develop guard play? Well, guard plays develop by playing, you know, so in order to play and be a guard at division one level, you have to have played and played a lot and been in a lot of situations, you know what I mean? And so, you you know, in some respects, like we always say, you got to be a gym rat, you know, you got to like that type of environment. You got to be competitive. Uh, you, like I said earlier, you got to play one-on-one, you got to play three on three. You're constantly putting yourself in five and five environments. You're not just putting yourself in five and five environments all the time. You're not trying to control your environments. You're trying to put yourself in every environment you can ever be. That's for parents. Like you said, the understanding of basketball is being played at such a high level in this country that you have to expose yourself to those high levels. You have to put yourself in those environments because if you just contain yourself in your environment and you're judging yourself off of your environment, that's not what it takes to play guard at the division one level you know like you have to be comfortable in a one-on-one environment a three-on-three environment a five-on-five environment playing against these guys playing against the constantly and that there's a level of competitiveness there you know what i mean there's a level of uh, awareness there that's required and when i say feel for the game seeing the game well that's awareness and and sense and to me the most important thing is that awareness and sense you know, because everybody's working on their skills. Yeah. Your level of athleticism will be your level of athleticism. Where does that sense and feel come from? Where does the seeing of the game come from? And that's ultimately the separate. You got to have all three, but that last one's the separator to say, this guy, he's got what it takes. So, and you see a lot of kids just struggle with that when they get to college. Of Yeah, they got the skills. They got the athleticism. I know, but we're out here playing and to play guard, what do you see? How's the team coming together? And your understanding of that is paramount for, for the team to, to make progress.